Hey guys, welcome to Upfront. Uh, episode 31, I believe, is where we're at. Um, so again, this week we're at the end of the year, so there's not really a whole lot going on as far as new game releases. And actually, some of the news is kind of sparse, um, especially with Xbox in particular. So we're going to go into this, and it's going to be another short, sweet week. And we'll get back into all the trailers and everything that's going on um, next week because there will be um, new game releases, etc. Also, um, this week, New Year's Day, we'll be releasing, or New Year's Eve, sorry, we'll be releasing a video on uh, games that we'd like to see remade. I haven't seen them in a while, and it'd be great to uh, finally see. A new idea with these titles so it's going to be kind of cool we'll release that on the 31st anyway let's go ahead and jump into it first off i updated i went and found an old ipad 2 i had laying around so i could not deal with paper anymore um which hopefully enhances the experience on your end um but anyway so let's jump into it playstation um again New releases come out next week, so we'll be doing trailers um, as we get to that point. Um, a Plague Tale, Innocence. Um, it weaves a beautiful and macabre story. Um, it's a very moving experience from start to finish. The Darun siblings are dealing with life on the run when the, after their homestead is attacked. Of course, the rats are great co-stars and could be found everywhere. It's become one of the editor's choices of the year. Um, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested into those types of survival games. Um, it might be a really good pickup. A lot of the screenshots and whatnot that I saw uh, from the game itself looked pretty good. Um, all right, a list of the best trailers of 2019 is live. Opinions on whether you agree or disagree with these would be welcome in the comments um, as well as uh, shooting me a message. I'd love to discuss some of these. But um, this was the list that was put out. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Death Stranding, Devil May Cry 5, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, uh, Final Fantasy 7 and 8 remakes, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Godfall, Marvel's Avengers, Marvel's Iron Man VR, Monster Hunter World Iceborne, Mortal Kombat 11 Combat Pack for Terminator, uh, Predator Hunter, Hunting Grounds, Resident Evil 3, and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. That was the list that was put out um, in reference to the greatest trailers of 2019. I'd be very interested to know if you agree with those. I'm sure there's one or two in there that you agree with, um, but I, I'm kind of indifferent on a couple of them. So anyway, moving right on, Xbox... Uh, again, no videos this week, but uh, Xbox's biggest story is Series X again and a recap of the year as news outlets are moving into 2020. So expect more next week as the new year will definitely have news streams live with more reference to Series X, games, peripherals, and more. All right, uh, let's move into Nintendo. Uh, level 5 CEO, I'm going to mess this name up, I promise, and excuse the daisily, like, my, I'm a little sick this week. Um, Akihiro Hino announced a new title in the Yokai series, entitled Yokai Academy Y. Uh, this comes after the announcement that Yokai Watch was coming to PS4 as well. They made that announcement back in September. Um... Anyway, they haven't announced the platforms, but it's a pretty solid guess that uh, it will be coming to Switch. Um, finally, for Nintendo, the French Consumers Association has called out Nintendo as one of the worst companies of 2019 uh, and labeled the Switch as the most fragile product of the year. The main issue being with the Joy-Con drift. Um, Nintendo has been aware of the issue and has encouraged consumers to contact support with these issues. Hopefully a revision can solve the issue going forward as fixes and support are only available in certain regions. So I would be willing to bet that if you're a U.S. customer, you can probably get your 
uh, Joy-Con controllers replaced. However, certain areas of the world, they cannot. So uh, this, is, this can be rather frustrating for those that bought a Switch in those remote areas or in those regions that are not supported, and now they're dealing with Joy-Con drift and having to uh, either purchase new Joy-Con controllers or um, just kind of deal with it, which which is kind of shitty. Um, all right, so lastly, Stadia. January means two new games for pro subscribers. Those two games are Thumper and Rise of the Tomb Raider. As opposed to the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition that pro subscribers have now. I chose not to dig into um, the other article that was put out this week, which was in reference to um, basically how how it's still standing in beta form and how there's things that they still need to fix, etc. Because when it comes down to it, anybody who's seen um, my episodes throughout in dealing with Stadia, and uh, again, I have a Stadia, I am a pro subscriber because I wanted to see how this technology um, was going to work out. And now looking at it like... I'm getting free games that's basically all I'm playing because of the fact that I'm not seeing anything that's that's new or unavailable on other platforms that I should get into. So I've gotten all my pro subscription games that are free to me and I play them and so far they're working great for me um, on my home Wi-Fi. Now, if I go on a trip, it's very easy for me to just unplug it, take it to the hotel, and plug it in and play there. It's great. Um, that's one thing that I like about it, and that's actually the reason that I got it to begin with. Um, anyway, that being said, I kind of limited um, the rants about how they're still in beta and how they're still building things. They did release achievements, and I think we tracked that last week. Um, but Stadia is still building. They're moving forward. They're trying to get the right things done. I am a little upset about the two free games of January when it comes to the fact that just last month uh, they released Tomb Raider, the definitive edition, and now we're getting Rise of the Tomb Raider. So we're basically getting two Tomb Raider games in two months back to back. I don't really understand why. But it is what it is. And here we are. However, that brings us to the end of this episode. And as usual, guys, questions, comments uh, below. And again, you can always hit me up with a message. Let me know how you felt about the episode. And we're working towards um, subscribers that we can do some giveaways. So by all means, um, like, comment, subscribe, and share, please. It means a lot to me. All right, thank, uh, thanks, guys, and we'll see you on Wednesday for the special episode, and then again next Sunday as we pick up the news for 2020. Have a great new year, and see you later.